Weston is a pianist and composer and band leader who was born in 1926 in Brooklyn, New York, and is an NEA jazz master. And part of the reason that some people may not be that familiar with Randy Weston is because he spent a good deal of his prime years in his career living overseas. And one of the things that makes him unique is that uh, unlike so many of his peers, he didn't spend those years in Europe or Scandinavia. He spent those years living on the continent of Africa. Oh, it affected his music very deeply because he's, he's always been a restless seeker in search of what he refers to as the spirits of our ancestors. As history tells us, he rightfully looks towards Africa as the true essence of the spirits of not only the ancestors of those who are known as African Americans, but the ancestors of all of mankind, because Africa is the cradle of civilization. So Randy has spent many years in search of the spirits of our ancestors, and he's done so by communing with various cultures on the African continent, on the Asian continent, and on the European continent as well. Unlike many of the great masters that we know, you know, there's kind of a continuum that most of them follow, where at a certain point they decided to become professional musicians and uh, they worked as side people, side men or side women, with various other artists in their development stage. And they perhaps came up through the jam session tradition and that kind of thing, and then eventually evolved into being band leaders. In this case, here's a guy who did not necessarily follow that traditional path. Because for one thing, he's always been someone who has composed his own original music and has always followed his own original muse. So you, in his discography, which is pretty deep, you don't find a whole lot of exploration of standards and that kind of thing. And you don't find a whole lot of a whole lot of evidence of Randy Weston as a sideman. And he didn't spend a whole lot of time working on the road as a sideman. So his experience uh, is, is, is quite different from others. And he evolved at his level of mastery uh, taking different roads than, than so many others that we know of. Randy's 85 years old. He was 85 on April 6th of this year. He lives in Brooklyn, New York. He remains very active. He hasn't necessarily worked the regular circuit of places and festivals in this country. And uh, he is someone who has played unusual places overseas. For example, how many jazz musicians you know played uh, in Canterbury for the Archbishop of Canterbury? How many jazz musicians do you know played command performances for uh, the monarchy in Morocco? How many jazz musicians do you know played Shinto shrines in Japan, in Kyoto, Japan? So, you know, he's taken an, an unusual path and continues to do so and continues to be a, a restless explorer of other cultures. Thank you.